Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 9th, but you know the timing is fluid, so we're just going to see what comes up. These cards don't bend. They don't bend. What do we have for around the 9th? Four of Cups reversed. So Four of Cups reversed is interested. Somebody is now interested. They weren't interested, but they're interested now. They have an option that they weren't that they didn't want in the past, or they weren't interested in love or something, but now they are. Now they are. Um, they may have ignored something or just didn't want it. Now they do. Hermit. Yeah, I think we have a loner here. We have a loner in the past that may have went within to re-identify or think about things to heal from a situation. I think we have a very enlightened individual that is now ready. This person is ready. They're looking for love. They want love. They want emotional fulfillment. They were probably done a lot of thinking. Somebody has become enlightened. It's like, you know, I didn't want this, but now I do. Right? I think we have somebody that has been really sad. They've been lonely. They've been antisocial. Maybe they've been restricting themselves. And now it's time. Now it's time to socialize, follow their heart. I feel like they, they threw something away or they didn't want love or they just weren't interested or something like that. Three cups. This is socializing, celebrating, having fun. Could be connecting on social media, dating. Um... Getting together, celebrating, drinking, having drinks. There could be a date on this day. There could be a date. Somebody may be going on a date. Um, this is getting or getting together with friends. Coming out of isolation. Somebody has been in isolation. They are now going to be reconnecting or socializing or dating or connecting with somebody that makes them happy or opens them up emotionally or something. This is like, I didn't want it. If you take a look at this, it's like, okay, we got this. <laughs> we got this Ace of Cups, the gift from above. That's God giving somebody an opportunity for love. And this person like, nope, don't want it. Don't want it, not interested. You know, I, I just got other things on my mind. Can't do it, not too busy. Whatever the case is. In the reversed, I want it. I'll take it. This is good, you know. So I do believe we have somebody here that has been in hermit mode. And they are now going to be opening up. They may be, they may be dating. They may be just socializing. They could, you know, just be ready. So I'm ready, I'm ready. Yes. The answer is yes. So the magician card is taking action, okay, to bring success. We have a strong, powerful individual who has asked for something. This is somebody that is very creative. We have create creator here that uh, has manifested something. This is somebody that um, is taking action, is doing something to bring happiness to their lives this is willing to shed the old to bring in the new this is a uh, i don't know i feel like we have somebody here that is doing something that they did not they were not open to doing in the past because they were reflecting they were healing for some, from something now they've gained some sort of self-awareness this is definitely an awakening as well. You know, this is like waking up from a slumber. This is determined. We have somebody here that is determined to, uh, I don't know, find love or be happy or something like that. Could be dealing with a Gemini, could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, but this is somebody that is, it could be an offer or an invite that is coming. This part, there could have been a rejection in the past. In the past, maybe that, maybe this, maybe somebody is now opening up. You know, maybe they want it. It feels like now they want it now. You know, um, this is somebody that is very focused. They are focused on uh, doing whatever it takes to bring happiness. Somebody may want a reunion, and there could be a reunion here for some of you. There could be a reunion with the Three of Cups. Whoo! 
Four of Swords. The Four of Swords is definitely, we have isolation a couple times. There could be the end of a third party situation here as well. I consider this an ending card. We have somebody here that has been very lonely, definitely very lonely, and they're done. They don't want to be lonely anymore. They don't want to be lonely anymore, so they're going to do whatever it takes to find that person or find that date or have fun or put themselves out there. So this is definitely an awakening. This is. Um, this is totally waking up from a slumber. Interesting. I think I said it before this card came out. I can't remember. I do believe that somebody has been hoping and praying for, you know, I feel like they've been hoping and praying for a reunion from somebody. And maybe that person wasn't interested and now they're ready. They're ready to mingle. They're ready to go out. They're ready to date. They're ready to have fun. You know, maybe this is a realization because the hermit card is a realization. It is. It's re-identification. It's healing. It's going in to heal from a rejection. So they feel like somebody has been rejected. Now they're going to be dating and having fun or something like that. Um, I also feel um, that this is the end of, for some of you, it's the end of loneliness. It is the end of loneliness because we have somebody here that is, this is like, if you think, if you think about the magician, as above, so below. You get what you ask for. It's card of manifestation. Somebody may have asked for, you know, love, right? And the universe hears that. The universe does hear that. Well, I feel like this is definitely, you know, something along that lines. There's been suffering. You see the three of swords. There's been pain. There's been heartache and separation. Okay? But now it's time to rejoice because this is rejoice. It's happiness. Somebody's going to be really happy with what the higher power or the universe or whatever it is that is coming in. And it's, they're going to be interested in it. It's like, yes, I want this. I'll take it. I'm done with the third party. And the third party is probably the person that uh, hurt them. With the Three of Swords right there. Even though this is the Four of Swords, we've got Three Swords right there. But this is no communication with that person. So, you know, it's time to have fun. So anyway, I do believe that there's there's some sort of new beginning here. A moon reverse. So the moon reverse is a reality check. It's, it's where uh, it's a release of fear. Somebody is releasing their fear. They probably weren't be listening to their intuition. They were hoping and praying for a reconciliation with somebody that rejected them. But I feel like the healing period has happened. And now it's time to reconnect. It's, and I don't mean it's time to reconnect with that person from the past. I don't. This is, this. okay. Moon card does represent the past. The past is reversed. This isn't about reconnecting with the past. This is about releasing the past and focusing on the opportunity that is right in front of you. And I think there's been a lot of fear of, of opening the heart or of dating or socializing or, you know... taking action to have that new life but anyway it is it is definitely a time of uh doing something about it the magician does something and, and is willing to shed the old wants to live again wants to live so it feels like there's a new life that is is beginning it's like this is a new beginning it is releasing the fear i'm interested it's seeing the light you know it is definitely i'm done being alone the end of loneliness. Um, we do have somebody here that is taking action. Now we get the Two of Cups reversed. It's interesting because the Two of Cups reversed is a detachment. It's a detachment from a partnership where there's no reciprocation. There's no unity. There's no love. So I do believe, and there could be somebody here that is deciding to go their own way. That is deciding to go into hermit mode. That is deciding to retreat. We could have a breakup here, with the two with the two of cups reversed. We could have somebody that is deciding. They just you know what this this is too painful for me. 
They may have, they may have uh, been in a loveless situation. Somebody's been in a loveless situation with that Four of Cups reverse. I want love. I want happiness. There's enlightenment here. So I do believe that there is some, some somebody that is becoming enlightened and they are taking action to bring success. And if that means shedding something that is loveless, well, there you go. I do believe there de could definitely be a separation. There could be some unfinished business as well with the Fool card reverse and the Four of Cups reversed. I don't know if there's unfinished business with the past. Somebody may need to go into here healing. They may need to go their own way. Now, this is this the moon card reverse can be release of fear or it can be extremely fearful. So we have somebody here that may be extremely fearful of rejection or they may be extremely fearful of growing old alone. So they stayed with somebody that, you know, they were not compatible with. Out of fear, over out of codependency. Anyhow, I do believe this is a day where action is being taken because that magician card is action. Okay, this is this is somebody that is gonna do whatever it takes to bring happiness to their lives, and it's gonna take a lot of power and determination and focus. This is somebody that um, is going to be communicating and if they maybe they're, they're going to be communicating with a partner of some sort and they may be saying you know what this is over i feel like it is i feel like it's over i, I want something more i also feel like we have somebody that has a new opportunity right in front of them and they're going to take it and they're going to take it absolutely you know um Somebody's made a foolish mistake with the fool reversed. They've done something impulsive. And they are extremely fearful about uh, going down a new path. They've made a poor judgment call. And, and maybe now they've become in wait, awakened. You know, they've thought about their actions. So anyway, I do believe on this day that we have somebody that has been ignoring an opportunity for love or they've been in a situation that is loveless and now they're taking action to change the circumstances, however that resonates with you. Good luck.